Before we get started with this list, if you guys could support me as a creator, go to the item shop, look in the bottom right, click on support a creator, type in Cobes Mine, press accept, and send me a picture of whatever you bought on Twitter. I would appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. What is up, everybody? It's Cobes here, and today I am back with a Fortnite video. In today's video, I will be ranking every single Battle Pass emote from worst to best. I want everyone to tell me in the comments section what your favorite Battle Pass emote is. Is it from season two? Is it just because, you know, the nostalgia of season two? Is that the reason it's your favorite? Or is it in season six? And is it because it's new? Will it remain your favorite emote even all the way up until season nine or something? Tell me in the comment section, guys. I would appreciate it. I will be playing a short clip of each of the emotes, so sit back, enjoy the video, guys. At my number 24 spot for my least favorite emote to ever come out in any season, I made it my duty. <laughs> I really did. I made it my duty to put this one at the last spot. The more realistic emotes, because some of them, you know, the green emotes, the uncommon ones, are so simple that I didn't want to put them at the last spot. I wanted to put the worst either rare or epic emote at, at the last spot. I think that made sense. So at my number 24 spot, I gave it to Flamenco. And for me, Flamenco, it's just not a good emote. I don't like using it. I think it's just kind of out of place in this battle pass. Maybe if there's like a Mexican themed battle pass, then it would make sense. But for this battle pass, it really doesn't make any sense to me. It seems very out of place. I don't like the music behind it and I don't like the dance move itself. Let's move on to my number 23 spot. I had to give it to break it down. And this is one of the most spastic emotes to ever exist in this game, by far. For me, I like the more chill emotes with like decent chill background music. This one, the guy's spazzing out, the noise in the background, the song in the background, it's spazzing out. This whole emote is just spastic. That's all I can say. For me, this one could have been at the number 24 spot, but I think Flamenco is a little bit worse. Let's move on to my number 22 spot. I had to give it to the gentleman's dab. And for me, if I'm looking at an emote, I don't want anything gentlemanly. Is that a word? Yeah, that's a word. All right, start using that. Write that in a paper and send it to your English teacher. Okay, this one, it's just not for me. I need something that just makes the enemy know that I hate them, I hate everything about them, and I'm glad that I killed them. That's how I like it. All right, guys, let's move on to my number 21 spot. You're awesome. Another emote that's just a little bit too spastic for me. I don't like it. I, I, again, I like the more chill emotes, and this one's a horrible example of a chill emote. It's not that. It's the exact opposite. It was not made for me. If you're blasting dubstep all day long, you're gonna love this emote. But for me, I'm a little bit more chill. I like the chill music. Let's move on to my number 20 spot, respect. Guys, again, what is up with this respecting stuff? Who wants to respect their enemy? Nobody does. Okay guys, we're human. We don't like respecting other people. This is a horrible example. A horrible example of what an emote should be, Epic Games. Get me a better emote. Disrespect. Now that's an emote I can get behind. Let's move on to my number 19 spot. It's go time. You know, I've been crapping on all these emotes, but I think it's time to take a piss on some of these emotes. Let it go. It's go time. You know, let go of that piss. All over the bottom emotes below you. All over them. Because they're all trash. They need to be pissed on. At my number 18 spot, the Regal Wave.
For me, this one's all right. You know, I do it with some friends once in a while. We just sit there while we're camping, I, which I don't do. I do not camp in games to get easy wins. I would never do that. But the Regal Wave, it's one of those emotes, has really no sound to it. It's just kind of funny to do, just sit there and wave constantly. It's, it's nothing much though at the end of the day. At my number 17 spot, I gave it to Salute. And very simple emote, nothing I really have to say about it. You know, if you guys really love these emotes, maybe go check into, you know, your local doctor, something, because I, I can't help you. Moving on to my number 16 spot, the wave. You know, the most OG uncommon emote, I had to put it at the number 16 spot. Okay, I guess that makes sense. At my number 15 spot though, the glitter up. Okay, this is one of the most sexual emotes I've ever seen in my life. I don't really care for it, all right? And you can, I'm pretty sure you can only use it with the giddy up skin. So that's another problem. I don't really like that skin. So the emote itself, since I can't use it very often because I'm not gonna be using that skin very often, the giddy up, I just can't use it. So for me, glitter up, a little bit too sexual. Epic Games, chill out there. Let's move on to my number 14 spot, Calculated. It's a very simple emote, but I do like it. I think it's pretty funny. Um, it definitely pisses me off when people use it on me, so that's really what I wanna see. If it pisses me off, I know it's gonna piss other people off, and then I'm like, yes, I'm gonna use that emote on the next person I kill. Let's move on to my number 13 spot, Hype. This one maybe slid down the list a little bit too much. I don't really know. I really loved it in previous seasons and I love using it just to see my character's face every now and again. But other than that, I think, you know, I'm a little bit sick of it. Maybe that's why I think I overused it when it came out. Um, but you know, it's not a terrible emote by any means. I actually like it. Tell me what you guys think about this. I definitely could see this being like your favorite emote. Moving on to my number 12 spot. Slytherin. You know, for me, I'm more of a Hufflepuff, but you know, this emote, I guess is for you guys, the edgelords out there. Are you an edgelord? I, I know you are, all right? Everyone is nowadays. And yeah, that made me edgy, okay? I'll accept it. Let's move on to my number 11 spot, Popcorn. And this is for any of the events out there. This is for, you know, third partying fights. Guys, instead of shooting at people while you're third partying, like everyone does, everyone in this game third parties. Just sit there and eat some popcorn. Maybe you'll get sniped in the head by the people you're trying to third party. And then, you know, we'll finally get some justice in this game. Some orange justice, I don't know, no, that's not the next spot. But that would've, that would've worked out pretty well. So moving into our number 10 spot, I think these emotes get really, really, really good. So at my number 10 spot, I had to give it to the robot. And I absolutely love this emote, it's just not my absolute favorite. You know what I mean? I really love it, but it just doesn't top out the rest. I think it's a really good emote though. Moving on to my number nine spot, I had to give it to the groove jam. And guys, this is all I want to see. Something groovy. Something um, you can groove to. You know what I mean? This is definitely a groovy emote though, and I love it. And it's from Napoleon Dynamite, which is awesome. You, you know I love the references, okay? Especially the references I know of. Even though that's one of the worst movies to ever come out in existence, and I know a ton of people are going to disagree with that, you know, um, yeah. Maybe I just am not dumb enough to understand that movie. Let's move on to my number eight spot. I had to give it to Ride the Pony. Guys, Ride the Pony. One of the greatest emotes to come out in this game. It, it reminds me of Save the World because when you hop into Save the World, if you don't see Ride the Pony within the first two minutes, you're not playing Save the World. Trust me, this is the only emote people use. This is the only emote people have, all right? Let's move on to my number seven spot, 
the OG, the classic, just like Ride the Pony, but I like it a little bit more, the worm. For me, I think the worm is just overall a better dance move, and I like the background music a little bit more than Ride the Pony. So that's why it tops out Ride the Pony, but again, it doesn't, it doesn't top out our number six spot. The OG, one of the most OG emotes to ever come out in this game, we have the Floss. And I know this is going to be a lot of people's number one spot. For me, it's a little bit old. It's something that I'll like to like whip out, just kind of showing people I have it. But other than that, I really won't use it all that often. I think the dance move itself is a little bit of an old meme, and we need to retire the old memes, guys. Retire the floss. Hashtag retire the floss. Let's move on to my number five spot, another old meme, but again, it's a classic. I think the story behind Orange Justice is a lot better than Orange Justice itself. I think, honestly, the OG Orange Justice response to, I think it was like the epic dance move. I can't remember the event, what it was called, but basically you'd submit your dance moves to Epic and they would pick the top five winners or top 10, however many. Um, and Orange Justice was definitely a fan favorite, but the guy did not win. But I do think the name is amazing. I, I love that we got some um, justice for the orange man, the orange shirted little kid out there. And it's a beautiful emote with a great background noise. Honestly, one of the best background stories to ever come out of Fortnite. Let's move on to my number four spot. For an emote that came out recently, we have the running man. And I love this one, super chill. Um, great emote to use. I'm really glad we got something good out of this season, guys. Let's move on to my number three spot, Swipe It Up. I love this one. You know, Millie Rockin' always gonna be cool to me, even though I um, can't do it because I'm white. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let's move on to my number two spot, Best Mates. And for me, best mates, it's kind of the opposite of the number one spot, the exact opposite. But this one's to use, you can piss people off with this one, but you can also make people's day. You know, maybe you're not feeling like a complete douche that day, so you wanna use best mates. Well, this is the emote. This is the emote to use. If you wanna make someone feel good about themselves, use best mates after you destroyed them. But if you're having a bad day, and guys, at our number one spot, you have to use it. Take the L. Is my favorite all time emote. I still use it to this day. It's still on like my favorited page and I'll use it all day long. I think take the L is my favorite emote in this game. I love using it. I know people hate when I use it. Every single time when I win, I will be using this emote. If you're watching my gameplays and you watch me win, trust me. From now on, you're gonna see take the L every single time. Take the L all over people. Guys, my favorite emote. Tell me in the comment section what your favorite emote is. Leave a like, drop a like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, whatever. I'll see you guys later.